In this video, I'm going to give you a bit of a tutorial to the evolution and natural selection uh, digital lab that we have on Gizmos. Now, this lab actually has three parts to it. We're only going to do the first two uh, in this video. So, very first thing that the Gizmo is going to have you do is it's going to ask you a prior knowledge question. You're going to do this before actually uh, starting anything in the lab itself. It's about dog breeds and uh, asking you to hypothesize how you think all of those different types of dogs developed. So answer that question first and then you're going to have the gizmo warm up. When you do the warm up, you are going to have to switch the gizmo over to natural selection because it starts with, or you're gonna to have to switch it to artificial selection because it starts with natural selection. So you can pick which two types of selection down at the bottom uh, left hand side here. So for the warm up, just click it over to artificial selection. And this will let you pick and move around the bugs that we have on the screen. So you're going to drag those bugs over to the left hand side and it doesn't matter who you pair with who. This is going to create breeding pairs, insects that are going to mate with each other. And once you have picked all of them, you are going to see that a whole bunch of new bugs are going to get produced. Those are the offspring. So the um, warm-up activity is asking you how many of these breeding pairs are there and then how many new insects get produced. We also have some insects that have mutations on them. And we can tell that they're mutants, that they have new mutations because the gizmo circles. So there will be a random number of mutations, um, but let us know how many of those mutations you see in your first generation. Now, when you click on any insect in here, you're going to see both genotype and phenotype at the bottom right. What these are, are these are the biological words describing the genes and the appearance. Genotype means the type of genes that the insect has. Phenotype means the type of appearance that the insect has and the genotype will influence the phenotype. We also see that we can adjust the mutation rate, uh, changing how often mutations will appear we can also adjust the background color of the leaves, which you'll actually see change. And when you look at the phenotype down at the bottom, the phenotype has red, green, blue that matches with the red, green, blue here. So if we pick a particular insect, we can actually edit the colors by inputting them directly to make it match the bug. Um, we're not gonna do that Right now, we are going to reset this, but we will end up using that later. Um, and we want to reset this entirely, so I'm just going to reload the entire page. Um, in the first activity, we're going to want it to make sure it's set to natural selection. So make sure that you don't have artificial selection clicked. You have natural selection. There's two things that we can see underneath the insects here as well. We can see the number of generations that have passed, how many times the insects have reproduced from grandparent to parent to child, and the average fitness. This is the average of how well adapted the insects are to their environment. So in activity A, the very first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make note of that average fitness. You're then going to click play and let it run for a couple of uh, generations and describe what is happening in each of these generations. You then also want to increase the simulation speed. 
You're just going to do it by one level and you're going to let it run for 30 generations. And I actually just ran it a lot more than 30 generations, so be ready to stop it. Um, and you're going to want to tell us what the average fitness is now. Go back down to the slowest level and you're going to click on a parent and tell us what the genotype is and what the phenotype is now. And you can scroll through, you'll see a couple of different ones and there will be some variation. So you're going to let them go in to their breeding pairs, pick one breeding pair, tell us what parent one is and what parent two is. Then you're going to let them reproduce and their children are going to be in a line across. Tell us what their uh, genotypes are. Just what's in here. And what you're really doing there is you're telling us what are the genes on the chromosome. Then we also want to check out mutations and see what the mutations that have popped up in this generation are. Finally, we want to up the simulation speed and really let it run and tell us what happens over time. Final question in the first section is explaining how evolution occurs through natural selection. Then we are going to go on to a second simulation. This simulation is going to use artificial selection. First thing you want to do is pick a color of insect that you want to have in the end. You're going to start off with all of them being white, but you want to figure out what one you want in the end. We are also going to increase the mutation rate for this experiment. So we're going to increase it up to two. You can just edit it directly or move the slider. Then the uh, second thing that it wants you to do is it wants you to describe how artificial selection works and how you are going to try and get insects that have the color that you want. Then you're just going to run the simulation. So you actually have to follow the instructions down at the bottom left. So you're going to have to do all sorts of work. Generation after generation, you're going to have to decide who's mating with each other. And then decide which children you want to die. Or not die, just not reproduce. <laughs> and those bugs you're going to move over into the trash bin. And this will take as much or as little time as you want it to. It's until you get the color that you chose originally. And depending on what color that is, that might take some time. What I would suggest doing, I'm just doing this randomly because I don't have the time in this video. That would be very boring for you to watch. Don't pick randomly. Make a plan. Decide which insects are going to mate with each other. Figure out how many generations it's going to take in order to get the insects of the color that you want. Uh, question four, you're going to compare the insects to those of your classmates. And you are going to see um, what it is that you have in terms of diversity. What were some other colors that got produced through artificial selection? I am just tediously getting rid of all the white insects that I can. 
And here's what I mean by picking who gets to breed together. I want to pick these two to go together to try and get something sort of greenish, bluish. You'll notice now that the offspring that I get from that pairing have a more distinctive color. This is going to take you some patience. Sorry. Um, but over time, you will end up with some new combos. And I'm just doing this because I want to try and get the color changed a bit for the next part. So next thing that I'm actually going to do is we're going to switch back over to natural selection. But before we do that, we're going to pick the color of an insect that we want. And we are going to match the leaf color to them. So I picked the one up in the top right. Just because it's very different from our default green. And I am going to reset the experiment with natural selection. And I'm going to crank up the simulation speed so that this happens a little bit quicker. I'm not going to go all the way out because it'll be too fast to recognize. But what I want is I want to see how many generations it takes for the insects to match the color of the leaves that I've now set. And the reason that I am doing that is I want to see which is faster, natural selection or artificial selection. So I'm actually going to run that experiment five times. Those are my five different trials. That's why I want to speed it up a little bit just so that it goes a bit faster because five trials is a lot. And I want to see on average how long does it take to get the insects over 90% fit. We're going to calculate the average by adding everything up and dividing by five, and then summarize which we think happens more quickly, artificial selection or natural selection. 